Hi everybody, this is Anthony and welcome to another 10 minute learning session whereby today what we're going to do is go over how to set up your showing instructions on a listing in showing time. Now, um, if you missed out on the uh, first video on how to set up your account, just to re, um, uh, reiterate what showing time is. Showing time is a free member benefit offered to you by CRMLS and what this tool will allow you to do is not only be able to schedule your showing appointments very quickly and easily but on the listing side we can actually schedule or set up our showing instructions through the showing time feature to be able to very quickly and easily indicate to showing agents what our restrictions could or could not be. Okay so real quickly what we're going to go over real quick is how to set up our showing instructions on our listings. So very simply to access showing time in the MLS, we're going to be logged into the MLS. We're going to move our mouse to where it says links on the links tab and we're going to click. From here we're going to access all of our third party member benefits. We're going to very easily scroll down to where it says in our member benefits showing time. When we click on showing time here, showing time is going to open up. Here we can access our, our profile information, which hopefully you've already done. But what we're now going to do is we're gonna set up our individual listings on their individual showing instructions. Now, one of the nice things that I love about having showing time uh, as a free member benefit is that anytime you list a property within the MLS, automatically within the next, or uh, within 15 minutes, your listing is already downloaded and or uploaded into the showing time uh, system for you to set your showing instructions. So to set up individual showing instructions like call first, go direct, uh, view individual instructions like your gate codes and things like that, we're gonna do that all through the listing setup feature indicated over here to the left-hand side. When we click on that, and we are now going to be able to see all of our currently active properties in the MLS, to modify the individual showing instructions on a home, we're going to come over to the property that we need to modify and click on it. From here, we've got various different showing instructions that we can now implement for our property. So, as our default setting based on our profile, we have it automatically set to appointment required. Appointment required means that agents have to ask for a date and a time for their showing on every one of their appointments. Now, maybe in this case, this property happens to be vacant, so I just want them to go immediately to the property without me having to approve it. Very simply click on the down arrow next to the appointment required under the appointment type and select courtesy call, go and show. This means that anytime an agent um, wants to schedule a showing, the system automatically will respond saying it's okay to show the home, okay? So an agent goes into the MLS, they request a showing. Now all of a sudden, because of the courtesy call go and show that I have set for this property, the system automatically responds with it's okay to go and see it. Now what happens if I've got certain special instructions on a home? Well, click on the down arrow next to the appointment type, click on view, showing, uh, view instructions only, now I can scroll down and under additional instructions, type in what those instructions are, like, oh, uh, call for an appointment within 24 hours, or gate code is, or maybe, um, beware, whoops, of dog, owner needs 24 hour notice to allow showings, things like that, okay? So here you can put in those instructions. Now, real quickly here, if you want people just to set schedule their normal appointments, we can do some other things here real quickly. Number one, 
under the contact information. I, as the listing agent, am always notified about the showing. So here I can immediately indicate I'm going to receive text messages, emails, or phone calls from the showing agent to approve those showings. But maybe there is a case maybe where I'm working with a, with a business partner, a co-agent, or in a lot of cases, a team member. Down below, under the contacts, I can add in my team member. Just simply click on Add Co-Agent, and now I can now input that agent's user ID for the MLS. And then when I search for them, I can now look for their ID from the MLS, and I can now give them the opportunity, along with myself, to approve the showing instructions, okay, or appointments, okay. This is great for if you're going on vacation. You can now assign another coworker or another agent that's helping you out while you're on vacation, approve those appointments. Now, what happens if I have an appointment or I have an, a client that wants to be involved in the showings? They want to approve the property. Or maybe in some cases, I've got a tenant that wants to approve or needs to approve the showings. Well, next to the add new co-agent listing agent, I can choose add owner occupant, and now I can add in their information to approve the showings as well. I'm always involved in no being notified about the showing request, but if I upload somebody like a tenant to approve those showings as well, just input their first name, their last name, their phone number, and of course, maybe their email address, and then when I save, I am now um, giving this tenant an opportunity to approve the showings as well. So here we can do that. Now one last thing real quickly that we're gonna touch on are special restrictions. Maybe you've got a client or the homeowner is a day sleeper. So they can't allow showings between eight in the morning to two in the afternoon. With this feature in showing time, under the appointment restrictions, I can now add appointment restrictions to the property. So now an agent cannot, through showing time, schedule a showing during those dates and times. So maybe I give the reason of day sleeper. Now I can say when the start and end time is of that showing restriction. So here the start is eight in the morning to maybe two in the afternoon. And maybe this is repeating from the time we list the property to the time it expires. And how many days a week does this restriction apply for? Well, Monday through Friday is their typical work week that they work at night. Now, when I hit save showing restrictions, this now will prevent the showing agents and what I mean by prevent, when they look at the calendar to schedule their showings, these will now show out as blackout times for their um, uh, showing, okay? So once we hit save the showing restrictions, this will now put it on the calendar Monday through Friday between these dates that agents cannot set up showings during these times. As a matter of fact, I could technically add in multiple showing restrictions if we need to. So maybe no showings between eight and two, and no showings between four and nine at night. So that only gives them a two or three hour gap between two and four to set up showings, okay? So that's how quickly and easy, oh, and once we do this, once we set up our showing restrictions, our appointments, now all we need to do is come up to the top, click on save our changes. This now saves the changes for our showings on my listing. So now when agents uh, go on through showing time to set up an appointment for my property, now the system kicks in to do whatever we need to. That's how easy it is to set up your property with its showing instructions through showing time. If there are any questions, please feel free to give me a call at 949-586-6800, extension 104, or feel free to email me at Tony, T O N Y, at O C A R, or I'm sorry, Tony at OC Realtors.
www.ohio.org. Have a great night.